Hello my dear students. Today we are going to learn about pronouns. A pronoun is a word that can be used instead of a noun. For example, a tiger is a carnivorous animal. It is a carnivorous animal. Pronouns can replace nouns in a sentence. They can help you to avoid writing the same words and names again and again and your writing can be made more interesting. Readers would get bored if they have to read the same words from one sentence to another. There are five types of main pronouns. In this video, we will be discussing only about subject pronouns, object pronouns, possessive pronouns and reflexive pronouns. Take a look at this table. You can see how a subject pronoun can change into different types of pronouns. I, me, mine my, myself, you, yours, your, yourself, she, her, hers, her, herself, he, him, his, himself, they, them, theirs, their, themselves, it, its, itself, we, us, ours, our, ourselves, you, yours, your, yourself, they, them, theirs, they are themselves, one, one's, oneself. Subject pronouns can be singular or plural and they can be masculine, feminine or gender neutral. The masculine or feminine subject pronoun is used when the gender is known. When referring to an inanimate object, the gender neutral form it is used. The subject pronoun it can be used to refer to animals of unspecific gender and it is also appropriate to use the subject pronoun it to describe a baby of unknown gender. It is also used to talk about the weather, temperature or time. If you can find the subject of a sentence, then you can find the subject pronoun just as easily. Let's go back to basics for a moment. Every complete sentence has a subject, a verb and an object. The subject or subject pronoun is always a person, thing, place or idea or the plural of one of those, that is, people, things, places or ideas. The object or object pronoun is always on the receiving end of the action. One of the easiest ways to identify subject or subject pronoun is to remember that it is always going to be the who or what that has a direct effect on the action that's taking place. These are the main subject pronouns. You can see that they are categorized based on their singularity or plurality. Take a look. I, he, she and it, they are all singular subject pronouns. You, we and they are all plural subject pronouns. Subject pronoun examples. In the following examples, you can see exactly how this method works. The subject pronoun is in bold and is underlined. The verb is in italics and the object is in bold. We gave them a head start in the race. You told Jerry that his score was among the best. That made him feel better. She lost weight by cutting out junk food. They drank water from a spring that ran right out of the mountainside. Here are some exercises. Try to improve your knowledge by engaging in them. Number 1. Blank kicked the ball so hard that his shoe came off. Number 2. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think blank enjoys studying. Number 3. The dog stole Tara's ice cream before Blank ran away. Number 4. Blank enjoys going to the gym early each morning. Number 5. Blank prefer hiking to movies. Object Pronouns An object pronoun is a type of personal pronoun. I becomes me. You becomes you. This rule applies both for the singular and plural users. He becomes him, she becomes her, it becomes it, we becomes us, they becomes them. 
If you know how to find the object of a sentence, then you will find it very easy to identify an object pronoun when you see one. To find the object of a sentence, locate the nouns and verbs and mentally separate them from the rest of the words the sentence contains. Both the subject and object of the sentence will be nouns or pronouns. The subject will be the one doing the action the verb describes. The object is the noun or pronoun receiving the action. Making things even simpler, when the object is not a noun, it's an object pronoun. Just like subject pronouns, object pronouns can be singular or plural, masculine, feminine or gender neutral. The masculine or feminine subject pronoun is used whenever the gender is known. When referring to the weather, temperature, time, an inanimate object or a child or animal of undetermined gender, the neuter form it can be used. Object pronoun examples. In the following examples, the subject is in bold, the verb is in italics and the object pronoun is in bold and is underlined. Bob took her to work on Monday. Will you please tell them to come in? He told you a lie about where he was on Saturday. Our grandparents gave us candy and our teeth are just fine. Now engage in the following exercises. Number 1. Mary wants to talk to blank about your homework. Number 2. The plate shattered when John dropped blank on the floor. Number 3. Be careful. He liked to blank before and he may do it again. Number 4. Where are Jill and Cherry? Didn't you invite blank? Number 5. The spider bit blank on my ankle. Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are words used to indicate that something belongs to someone or has a direct relationship with someone else. They are often used in speech and writing to avoid repetition. Consider this example. I had dinner with Jane and Jane's brother Michael. To avoid repeating the name Jane in this sentence, we use the possessive pronoun her to make the sentence neater and less repetitive. I had dinner with Jane and her brother Michael. Here are some examples of dependent possessive pronouns in sentences. Does this key open my door or your door? I'll bring my favorite beer to the party. She could not believe her. His shoes were old and worn. They promised to do theirs. Number 2. Here are some examples of independent possessive pronouns in sentences. Who owns this bike? Is it yours? That's ours. Please don't touch it. The land west of the field is theirs. This money is all mine. I can see theirs, but I can't see his. Generally, dependent possessive pronouns are shorter than their independent possessive pronoun counterparts. Look at the following table. My, mine, your, yours, his, her, his, hers, its, its. Your, yours, our, ours, their, theirs. It is very rarely used as an independent possessive pronoun. An example can be found in Shakespeare's works, but it is effectively never used in modern English. Possessive pronouns are designed to provide clarity on ownership by making sentences less repetitious and more concise. This will make your speech and writing easier to understand. Consider this example of a sentence that does not use possessive pronouns. That is Jack's house. Jack's neighbor Bob lives next door. In the park across the road from Jack's and Bob's houses, Jack's and Bob's wives are chatting. Look how we can provide clarity with the use of possessive pronouns. That is Jack's house. His neighbor Bob lives next door. In the park across the road from their houses, their wives are chatting. Reflexive pronouns. A reflexive pronoun is a type of pronoun that is preceded by the adverb, adjective, pronoun or noun to which it refers. So long as that antecedent, 
is located within the same clause. A reflexive pronoun indicates that the person who is realizing the action of the verb is also the recipient of the action. Examples of reflexive pronouns In the following examples of reflexive pronouns, the reflexive pronoun in each sentence is italicized. I was in a hurry, so I washed the car myself. You are going to have to drive yourself to school today. He wanted to impress her, so he baked a cake himself. Jennifer does chores herself because she doesn't trust others to do them right. That car is in a class all by itself. We don't have to go out. We can fix dinner ourselves. You are too young to go out by yourselves. The actors save the local theatre money by making costumes themselves. Here are some exercises on reflexive pronouns. Number 1. Each morning, I brush my teeth and stare at blank in the mirror. Number 2. Dad and I painted the trailer blank. Number 3. The children made holiday decorations by blank. Number 4. Paul copies his friend's homework instead of doing it blank. Number 5. Please make blank at home while you wait. I hope that you have learned a lot through this video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again in the next session.